Okay, here we go. Religion part two. Of course, there was a whole bunch of crap to talk about, and uh, we left off on stem cell research and stuff like that. Uh, well, I am not so sure that we should. Uh, and my reason on that is that uh, we don't know exactly what might happen. They could create a whole new host of fucking diseases that, you know, could affect us before we even were even born. <laughs> the possibilities are endless, and I'm sure they are endless in, in the uh, other direction. We could possibly find a cure for cancer or, or fucking uh, cure paralysis or something. Like that. Or we could just be in the killing the entire world. That could happen to you, yes. <laughs> uh, End up like, um, how is that? It's a time machine. Where we completely segregate ourselves from ourselves. Make a complete new, uh, new race. Yeah, so for those who haven't seen that movie, basically what happened is that he, uh, he, when he traveled the hell of far into the future, like 100,000 years or so, uh, the human race had split into two different species. One who was basically uh, that fed on the other, and uh, yeah, you know, that could possibly happen if we start screwing with shit like that. But you know, <laughs> some people might justify it by saying that well, we could still save millions. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Personally, I don't like to uh, or you could do. Up doing this all. Yeah, I, I, I personally don't like uh, doing almost anything with uh, on a maybe. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I guess that's just all up in the air, and, and that kind of really doesn't have anything to do with religion. But uh, eh, it kind of does because sort of. it's well, if you think about it on a religious uh, basic. Um, it's against kind of God's, I don't know if you'd say will, to mess with things like that. Yeah. It can be taken in religious context. Well, maybe the cloning part. Uh, <laughs> maybe, but that, like, our, basically, on the cloning thing, uh, that's a whole different story. I really don't think we should. Uh... We born, you know, we're born, we live, and we die, and that's the whole cycle, and that's how it should be. There's really no, uh, you know, reason to try and live forever. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. Try going through all this crap, you know, an, uh, an, uh, through another lifetime, continuously. That's just, <laughs> uh, I don't think I could handle that much. <laughs> I mean, you know, people fucking kill themselves who kill themselves like right now, and they only have one lifetime. As, we, well, as far as we know. <laughs> uh, well, uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we have here? We have. Uh, all right, let me uh, elaborate more on why I'm not a traditional Christian, uh, or why exactly what my ideas are. I basically believe that uh, the Bible is just a book. And that uh, people throughout you know the years had plenty of chances to uh, change it or add anything to it, you know, to to, to suit their needs. And uh, some of, some of you out there might be thinking, you know, well, God wouldn't let that happen. Well, yeah, God gave us free will, right? So, those people who could have changed the Bible had the free will to do so. And if, if he stopped them, he would be violating their free will. And that would make him a hypocrite. Wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, personally, I don't think God is a hypocrite, so... Uh, you can go ahead and throw that one out the door right there, that argument. That's just not, you know, going to cut it. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, 
for the most part, the uh, Bible should just only be, you know, seen as some sort of a guideline. I mean, some sort of the things in there are probably good advice. I mean, you know, like uh, sex and uh, don't have sex until you're married. I mean, it shouldn't matter whether uh, whether or not uh, you do or not, but um, I'm sure it helps. <laughs> You know, there's a lot, a lot of people out there who uh, just struggle trying to, you know, raise a child on their own. And, you know, it'd be nice if they had someone there to help. <laughs> so if you did wait until you're married, uh, you would have that chance. You would have someone there to help you out and raise that kid. So, presumably, yes. So... Essentially, it's a good idea, but it shouldn't be really forced on you or us or anything like, you know, anyone. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you got all these Bible thumpers going out there. You're going to hell! You go to hell, you go to hell and you die! <laughs> I mean, really, how, you know... It, Fucking can! <laughs> can! <Ken. laughs> oh, you know what? And the one we recorded before this, I, I mentioned... Uh, well, uh, the, the one that didn't get um, actually recorded, but we recorded it. Anyway, apparently uh, there was some lag and it you know, ended up... But uh, I'm not going to upload that one. But uh, we said, or I said, that uh, the both of us uh, randomly just quote movies out, out of nowhere. Uh, you know, just regularly, you know. And... Random intervals. Yep. And it doesn't even have to do with what we're talking about ever. So, you know. Uh, we could randomly just Case get something point, out. A fucking ten. A fucking ten, yeah. So, you know, hey. I give it 9.5. <laughs> I still got work. <laughs> <laughs> if you can actually figure out what, you know, these quotes are from, you know, comment us back or something. That would and be awesome. That would be awesome. You know, if you, if you knew, it would be great. But uh, I can't give you anything. I, I can't give you a prize or something like that. I mean, you know, I can give you an imaginary cookie. How about that? <laughs> you get imaginary cookies. <laughs> your imaginary self-esteem. And holy crap, this took so goddamn long. It's fucking... I got only, only two, two and a half minutes left. Uh, and, uh, I guess one, one, one more point I, I, I can make about, you know, uh, uh, bad things about religion, or, you know, most religious people, is that uh, they are so against uh, uh, um, hearing opposing ideas. And... And really, that's that's just wrong. And I mean, come on now. And 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 a lot of them are really adamant about it. I mean, fucking damn near genociding you know a fucking whole race or you know whole culture because they don't fucking believe in the same thing. You know, if you read the history books. It happened. <laughs> I'm not entirely which one. You know, the, the, the name it was called. There was plenty of names for you know religious wars and all that shit. <laughs> but uh. Crusades. Yeah, you know, that. <laughs> this is my holy land. No, it's my holy land. Or you go, hey, shit like, uh, let's see, like shit that, that happened in fucking, uh, the, the movie, uh, King Arthur. Yeah, King Arthur. Where, you know, he got to, you know, the, the, this fucking village or whatever the hell, and the dude there said that his word was God. His word was God. God's word. And so he took people who didn't believe in God and threw them in a dungeon and said it was God's will. Hmm, that sounds familiar. God wills it. <laughs> God. So what I'm saying, it's, it, it's, it's absolutely possible that someone can you know, just go say, hey, this is God's will, you must fucking listen to it. You know, so I'm and, right, you're wrong. God tells me so, and you won't know because it doesn't talk to you. Ha! Exactly. What the you fuck go. kind of bullshit is that? Exactly. We got thirty seconds left, but I think we kind of touched almost on everything. So uh, yeah, you know, Venom Thing X, you're a fucking zealot, and uh, you know, hey, <laughs> kind of work on it. You, know, you you could still be a good guy, you know, and, and save people, but yeah. don't be such an ass. <laughs> You don't have to be. I mean, God didn't say you have to be an ass while saving people. Come on. All right. Ten seconds left. Uh, I'm done, but you know what? I think I might make another video after this about something else, you know, on that list that I make. Bye.